Hello friends, we're already here with more of our CK2 on English Neke Norman Yoke playthrough. Now in his mid-30s, our king, William IV, began to focus attention more fully on the affairs of heaven. He has a goal, or at least I have a goal for him, to become a saint. As right now he has no sins, or no permanent uh, vicious ways of being in the world, and he also has taken a vow of celibacy. This ensures almost certainly the case that the next leader of England will be a woman, Princess Maybell, who is decent but not that great, we'll see how it goes. Uh, beyond that, uh, in last episode we spent some time plotting in Scotland, realizing that the Kingdom of Scotland was open to potentially being stolen away uh, from the uh, current dynasty there. We managed to kill this boy king right here, Earl Adam of Ross. Uh, the kingdom will descend to Eleanor here who's married someone in our dynasty. So that'll be an interesting uh, way forward if we don't want to just uh, try to vassalize them by force at some point down the road. Now, the question, as I mentioned a moment ago, is... Is murdering a child winding up in line with godliness? Question for the theologians for the ages. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we also heard at the end of the last episode that we had a open law change right now. So, part of me would like to go ahead and go to late feudal administration, uh, so we're able to insist the vassals join us consistently when going to war, uh, or we could try to roll back one of the council powers. Right now the council is able to make decisions on granting titles, on imprisonment, and on revoking titles. Uh, all three of these are very annoying not to have our personal control, which should like change any of my suspects. It would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, the council is not quite with me. I have two supporters, two absolute loyalists there, then all the rest are fully opponents. So I think what we'll go ahead and do is find if we can bribe one of them. Yeah, look at these people. We have two loyalists and uh, three uh, dukes uh, who are going to be fairly expensive to bribe. This chaplain, though, who's only a bishop, not an archbishop, probably a relatively cheap favor. It's still 100 for that money, but yes, we'll buy that favor. And then once that goes through, through we will uh, go ahead and convince him to vote with us and change one of the laws of our lovely kingdom. Uh, Troubadour and his wife, the Trobariats, have arrived from Occitania. Occitania? Occitania, I think. Their performances range from vulgar satires to political servants, everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. They'll be paid well, I assure you, we become charitable. All right, that's absolutely what we want to do. Get ourselves none of those permanent virtues uh, with a mind towards saintliness. An action saintly ways all the way forward unless it endangers the playthrough, I believe. Okay, we've gotten our favor with the bishop. We now ask him to please and thanks, vote with us for the rest of the, um, rest of the next uh, couple of years, I believe. Also, I just now see this search for an artifact effect here. Um, so I, I think that we, last episode we had a chancellor fail at finding an artifact because he died or maybe kicked him off the council. I don't recall which one. But yeah, it might be a fine idea to order one of our counselors to go search for an artifact after the vote's done. So let's go ahead and move ourselves into late administration. Again, the big shifts here are that we have more succession laws. We don't need any more. We're already on primogeniture. And then vassals who refuse leader interference are seen as traitors. That's the big change. Uh, the vassals must come less help out in wars. Cool. Uh, late feudal lords realize the importance of keeping the inheritance together to facilitate their dynasty's long-term increase in power and wealth. In this system, there's a tendency for vassals to grow more and more powerful with time if not kept in check. I'm sure we're fine. We're strong. It'll be mighty. Alright, the vote is done. Uh, it'll be a tie then, and ties go to the ruler in this case. That'll be absolutely lovely. Um, a non aggression pact has ended between... Two of my dukes, it looks like. I'm not sure about that. Hopefully they don't become more and more powerful as the uh, the game just warned me they might. Um, yeah, happily the strongest of our vassals is 22% of our strength. He is the Duke of Munster. He has quite the army there. Uh, we should probably put him on the council. He's a good marshal. Okay, our law went through. Hooray! Welcome, friends, to the late feudal ages! Ah, great. Uh, the Duke of Munster is a, a decent marshal, at least. So with the laws now changed, I would, might would like to change out who's on the council. So the Duke of Radoslav here is not an especially large duke. Um, he's smaller than the other fellow at least. So we're kicking off the council for now. Uh, and he will not like that at all. That's fine. He'll understand, I'm sure. It's really good for the Empire, etc. And we'll go ahead and put on our large friend here. 
who will come close to liking us now. Actually, he does like us on the council. Uh, he does not like female heir at all. That's, that's still a big issue here. Cranky, cranky uh, vassals over female heirs. That's going to bother us for uh, probably the next few episodes here. I'm, I'm seeing rocky uh, shores ahead. Uh, rocky waters ahead. Did I just miss? <laughs> so I sent my marshal out to suppress her volts, and I meant to do it in Darby, and instead I did it in Chester. Uh, hopefully the marshal yells very loudly about how great the king is, and uh, the peasants across the way in Darby can hear that. When can we move him? Uh, we can move him in half a year. Great. And then also, now that the law went through, we want to change out our loyalists, the spy master and the steward, much better characters. And also, we'd probably like a better chancellor as well. That chancellor's been waiting in uh, the Isle of Man, trying to get a fabrication for quite a long time. So hasn't gotten it yet. All right, apparently there's a disease somewhere in the Empire. Uh, epidemically threatened the court. Now, our court lives here, I believe. Is there a disease there? There's not, but it's one step away. And this is the dreaded plague known as Camp Fever. What is Camp Fever exactly? Um, I don't know. Let's find someone who has it. Anyone over here have Camp Fever? Wish to engage in a study of your body. Show me what you got. Press. Okay, no one there has Camp Fever right now. Uh, I'm noticing that all the lords right here are isolated with their courts. So we'll do the same thing. Upset everyone, but we have a hide. Great. And this plot to kill Earl Adam of Ross is getting worse and worse. So I think we're actually going to end that. Uh, again, I, I want to be a saintly person. So we'll find some other way to take over Scotland. It doesn't involve killing children. I uh, guess. I uh, guess. Uh, our retinue at home needs some commanders still. But I think my commanders are all hidden away currently, unfortunately. Um, but, can we get a large retinue right now? We're still pulling in really good money. Uh, almost 25 a month right now. So a large retinue would be just fine. And no, uh, we only have 0.7. Red new space, uh, we're not going to do that right now. I'd like some more horses, actually any horses at all in our, our retinue before too long. A uh, young Mabel, our eventual queen, has finished her education stewardship. It didn't go particularly well. Oh no, indulgent wastrel. Improved stewardship, lose diplomacy. So that's, I mean, not great. I think she's better at stewardship and diplomacy than her father. No, she's worth that both. Never mind. <laughs> Absolutely worth that both. Uh, but she's getting married to a genius who is good at some things. Uh, diplomacy will be an issue. We'll probably have to go to more vassals or I don't know what. Um, but we'll see what happens. She's kind and chaste and chaste. Oh, no. How are we get children if she's chaste? That's no good at all. And her husband has no traits or virtues. He's shy. He's never, he's never actually uh, made any decisions in his life. I'm sure they'll develop in beautiful ways real soon. All right. Oh, well. Better luck next time. We groom that heir. That's great. Let's go ahead and get, make sure this marriage happens now. You can force the marriage to occur, I believe. Right here. Yes. Matrilineal marriage. After years of careful planning, Agalina de Comteville from the court of Duke Sigurd II of Hampshire is going elsewhere to press a claim on Mortain and Cayenne. Good luck to you. That's down here in France, isn't it? I think it is. Probably territory I should get, but good luck to her on that. All right, the marriage is happening. Uh, Franz and Princess Mabel are getting married. We can collect a royal aid duty. Pay for the ceremonies. Give us your money, 159, or we want prestige. So we have almost 2,000 prestige already. Um, I actually don't know what I can use prestige for at this point, other than uh, to pay for various C's, B, and such. Uh, let's say it's everyone's concern. Now, it's 200 prestige or 150. Let's do the money. I like money. I like money because money means more castles, more buildings, and other such fun. So we'll keep on with that. Get some more horses. Great. And I can open the gates now. Does that mean the disease actually retreated? No, the disease is still waiting right here. So at the beginning of the game, trying to trick me, trying to have me open those gates, and immediately some of the disease pouring on into my court, and everyone absolutely die then. You know, it's a disaster. Alright, there's a uh, barracks over here in Lidford, but I believe my least improved holding right now. Uh, no, it's actually, well, yeah, there's lots not improved. We don't have enough money to do anything right now. So, we'll probably go for a lot more cast towns. Can't right now, though. No, we'll see eventually. Uh, also, I'm noticing that France is getting weaker and weaker. Uh, Jerusalem bit a bit, a, bit a bit of bit a bit of it off. Uh, Provence taking some also. The HRE is abutting them aggressively. 
and at some point I think we're gonna have to do something against them, potentially take some more land, we'll see. A uh, message from our ally, the Duke of Savoy. Sorry, Saxony, I can read. Duke of Saxony, who will someday be the Holy Roman Emperor. He's next in line, I believe, for that. Uh, no, he's not anymore. Son of a god. He's uh, not even an elector anymore, is that correct? Well, whatever. Uh, our relationship with the Duke of Saxony is put to the test. He wants us to come help him fight a war against the King of Denmark. Uh, Saxon war for Count Otto's claim on Fien. So, uh, Denmark is is here. Hello, Denmark. You know what? Sure, we accept. And I, I'm sure we're not going to help too much here. Looks like Saxony is the big army for right now. It's probably fine. Uh, Donatus Tello, that's someone inside of our Holy Society, has contacted us and asked if you have any interest in learning about roses. Now, are we already a gardener? No, we're not a gardener on this character. I believe this is how you get gardener. Yes. Let's go learn about botany. Maybe we'll learn how genetics work, too. That'd be just great. Okay. Um, what does it take to become an emperor right now? So we are got to be getting close to Emperor of Britannia. Uh, requires us to have 400 piety. Nowhere near that. 541 money. Nowhere near that. And 80% of counties. We have 77. Okay, I think we need probably two more counties. 68 out of 85, I think it's about 80 or so. Uh, so hopefully we'll get Man and Cumberland and have all the counties we need to become Emperor. Uh, but I really do want to get the achievement of this character, or this playthrough, of holding all four of these crowns by one character. Be great. Uh, escorted through the Gardens of the Monastery, I immediately spot the work of Brother Tello. The roses are a delicate mixture of red and yellow, a hue of sunset at their center. They're beautiful, my escort nods, offer me a small spade. They're a little cramped over there, though. Would you mind helping out? Uh, of course I can do that, I think. I could get more learning, could lose some learning. Come on, learning. Go in the right direction, you. There are many, many days of working in the fields. And our hands all dirty for sure. Well, as all my vassals fight, I, I do worry a little bit about are they becoming overly strong? I mean, we looked at the vassal tree earlier, and they're, they're I mean, not that strong. They're, they're fine. As long as they say, like, under 30%, they'll be fine. So as they, they team up, bigger problems. Okay, our advisor has died. So as always, the advisor slot is for the largest vassal who is um, not on the council and not particularly good. The Duke of Daybroth here is angry not the only council, the double duke, and has no great talents. Now, the Duke Duchess of, of York here, Edeburg, the powerful vassal wants to the council also, and she likes me. I don't know why she likes me. That's great, though. But no, we should probably go with the person who uh, will attack us otherwise. Seems good. Uh, was Daybirth actually the biggest of the vassals at this point? Um, yeah, so the two largest vassals of the council already. We go down here, before, and you find anyone who's a large vassal who's not on the council, I think. All also be fine. Everyone's fine. A daughter was born unto Prince Torf of England. Ah, this is the character that might end up being on the uh, throne of Scotland eventually. That's interesting. I mean, again, it involve us making sure a kid dies. Uh, oh, he's an adult now. I've tried to assassinate you, it would happen. Uh, Maximum Pop Heart 62. We just don't know people up there, unfortunately, or no one lives up there, right? Maybe. Um, if people lived up there, we'd be able to uh, get some, some additional plot power help, but, but not quite yet, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, again, I'm amazed that this Chancellor is not finished. So, Chancellor is... 61-year-old Prince Archbishop. I doubt he would declare a war against me, so I'm actually going to kick him off the council. If I can. We not fire counselors who are or bishops or... Let's look the other direction on this one and see if we can appoint a new chancellor. Gosh, we can. A 17 would be very, very good. Now, we're angry with Prince Archbishop, and I believe he'll then give fewer taxes to me. But let's look around real quick so we can find an even better chancellor. Be absolutely great. Looking for a dude who's Catholic, who will join my court, uh, and is good at diplomacy. There's 21 there in Gunes, or Genes, or Gens. I don't know where this is, but 21, he's absolutely great. He's proud and kind and 41 years old. 
sure come on down. He wants to get married too. You can absolutely help him with that if you come to your most eligible ladies in all of Europe are in England this day. Rowan is doing well. All of our personal holdings are improving more and more. That's great. And I would like to make sure, yeah, my capital isn't in, in London. Every time we got a Rouen pop-up, I worry that I didn't actually move my capital, but we did indeed. Okay, so you're going to become our new chancellor. So good, that diligence, that kindness, that left-handedness. Cool. Um, and fabricate in the Isle of Man, please do it quickly. Wait, is man belong to Scotland now? Son of a god. Okay, so earlier, man was independent. And uh, we didn't get a claim on it throughout the independent period, so we're going to fight all of Scotland to get that. Um, we didn't have multiple claims then, so we can push for quite a bit simultaneously. Um, I think the Pope can give me a claim on a duchy. Yeah, request claim on a duchy here. The head of religion can grant you a strong claim on a duke or count rank title. However, the very act of asking will cost piety. 261 piety, we have 222 right now, so maybe we'll do that pretty soon. But yeah, getting a duchy for ourselves would not be the worst thing in the world. Um, along the border here, there is no duchy. They're all independent counts directly reporting to the queen, uh, looks like. And we already have a claim on Cumberland via our uh, dukes. Uh, Cumbria here is across the way, and so I believe we have a, a duchy, a duckle claim rather. But there is actually no Duke of Cumbria right now. So, do I have a CB on Cumberland? I think I do. Um, did your claim on Cumbria? Oh, is it part of England, maybe? That might be it. So, yeah, it's part of the Kingdom of England. So everything that's in England officially is fine, and that's in England, it'll mine real, real soon. Hopefully. Scads of money already, my goodness. You know, improving as we can. Um, training grounds for faster levy reinforcements. And we'll go down to, how's this said? Bulf? Bulf, maybe. Bulf's got nothing. We're improving currently. Winchester needs technology, needs so much more we got. And let's get better fortifications. But then hardly any castle wall or castle fortification increases. But if we ever fight like a big defensive war, we got some problems for sure. Now I believe that building we're building right now allows us to have a larger retinue, yeah? Yeah, we're at, we have 0.9 open space, we have 0.7 a bit ago. So it's going in the right direction. Hope that continues going up and up and up and up and up. Great. Um how close are we to next level in the Benedictine order? It's me, a commissius, or a commissius. Uh, that require having a, a 1,000 devotion. We have about 200 now. Not so good. Uh, Donatus Kuno. Hello, Kuno. Ask me about interest in learning about roses. Oh, yeah, weren't we already learning about roses? What happened? <laughs> I thought we were helping him with the roses. Apparently, we uh, got so interested in plants that we wandered off in the woods and never, ever came back. I think that's how this goes. Uh, the uh, claims I have right now to help other people are not ones that are right nearby, I think. Wait, where's Clydesdale? I think I should know where Clydesdale is. I mean, it's in Scotland. So we have, so we help... We help uh, Pushing to Scotland at some point. Um, but yeah, I want to push as many claims as possible to avoid having a war over one thing. Okay. Escorted through the gardens of the monastery, I immediately spot the work of Lord Kuno. Etc. 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 Et et Little Crampler, can you help us out? I'd love to. Something grounding to gardening. Okay, so we're going gardening a second time. We now become a gardener. This character likes nothing better than to putter away in the garden, growing herbs and exotic fruit trees. Incidentally, about the word putter, I believe that in British English, that's, that's potter away in the garden. P-O-T-T. -T. Or in American English, it's putter, P-U-T-T. -T. The more you know. All right. I accept. We become a gardener. Great. More stewardship, more learning, and other gardeners like us more. I don't think there's a downside at all to that kind of perk. It feels great. Uh, the disease is not receded. It's still in Winchester... It'll come bother us again real soon, I'm sure. Uh, dukes are forming relationships. So that's not a problem at all. I'm glad they're having marriages, glad they're you know, romantically involved together. When's the next law change? Next law change is going to be on 1154. Three years from now, we'll have to stack the council again. Because the idea of like these dukes actually voting for me. I mean, 
Okay, what it comes to actually is, the, if I keep the two loyalists and then bribe someone, probably the Chancellor, how much do you cost for a favor? 80, 80 money, yeah, no problem at all. It's gonna be amazing to have that. Ah, get a improvement down here. More walls, more walls. And I think we have the piety we need now to ask for a CB against this Duke. Okay. Ask Pope Gregorius to grant you claim on the Duchy of Galloway. The change of opinion of the Pope against me by negative 20 for 480 months. I don't know how to do math, but it's a very, very, very long time. Uh, I think it's a negative 20 or negative 40. Possibly would get excommunicated off of that, so not sure I should. However, the Pope is 65, so he's not going to be around that long. Wait, also, how much piety was it? Was it 500? I may have misread. They asked for a claim. It is 522 piety. I thought it was only 200-something. Oh, it's 261 on the county of Clydesdale, but um, more than that on... Yeah, more than that on uh, the Duchy itself. All right, I think that's not the great way for us to uh, get further claims right now. After all, we are lacking in piety. If we're gonna be a, we're gonna be a lovely uh, saint, it's gonna require more piety we got right now. Uh, also, 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 I have no ambition right now. Nor can I pick an ambition. Also, 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 I realize that we're no longer making babies. We have all the children we're ever gonna have. Oh, our youngest daughter's not married off. We should fix that at once. Um, but we got to change our focus off of family. So I, how much more I don't need as much diplomacy. We have 23 vassals. Our cap's 27. We can change off that. Uh, our focus could become on theology. That gives us some health and also hope of getting more piety more quickly. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's go all theology all the way. A true saintly fellow are we. Okay, I'd like to find a way to marry into the HRE, if possible. Fortunately, it's still the case that the family the Emperor has... Oh! I lied! The family the Emperor has an unmarried son because his son's wife has died of the cancer. Um, the current heir is Duke Dietpold of Bavaria. I kind of wish this were my name. Dietpold's a fantastic name. Or, he's a little bit large. Dietpold, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Uh, the current HRE is 46. I'm going to say he's 10 years left. I think that's worth it. So go ahead and marry his boy off to our extra gal, Matrilineally. I'm surprised they're giving this Matrilineally. Absolutely amazed by that. Uh, is a weak claim on the Duchy of Holland. Sure, let's do it. Okay. So, it is possibly the case... It is the case that we can probably get an alliance with the HRE now. No! Oh. Because of political concerns. Okay, so he has plus four opinion on us at 38 points. Um, how much money did it send to gift him? 400 money. I'm so excited for a possible alliance. At least we have non-aggression, but... Hoping we use them to help beat up on France. Uh, that political concern is just too substantial. I, I think that the European powers are coming to realize that we up on the island are becoming stronger and stronger. And even stronger still in the next episode. We'll see you then. Thanks again for watching, and see you again real, real soon.